Hello again, Honky Tonks. Before I go on, does anyone else actually care about Partygate? I don't. It's a story that's been pushed down our throats now for the last couple of weeks. And it's something that apparently happened during the height of the lockdown in 2020. And people have known about this for nearly two years now, but it's only coming out now because they want to get rid of Boris Johnson. So to put it another way, the mainstream media are all basically lockdown enthusiasts. And because it suited them and their agenda that everyone was locked down in their houses, they went along with it and they kept this story in their back pocket for the time, such as now, in order to get rid of supervillain uh, Boris Johnson. And even though there is now a police investigation because of this, what puzzles me is that there are policemen and women working in Downing Street 24-7. Surely at least one of them would have seen something and thought to themselves, hang on, they're breaking lockdown rules. I'd best go and tell my superior. But no, it didn't happen, did it? It's all coming out now. And the only reason is to get rid of Boris Johnson. That's my only conclusion out of all this. I mean, this is how desperate the mainstream media are. They've even dragged out Dominic Cummings. And all of a sudden now, because he is a means to an end, they are literally treating the guy like the pariah of truth and virtue, completely ignoring or forgetting the fact that when he allegedly broke lockdown rules to go to Bernard Castle or for an eye test, the media were literally camped outside his house and they even had him outside Downing Street Gardens uh, treating it like some sort of magistrate's court while they questioned him and painted him as the devil of all lies. Now that should tell you everything about the mainstream media. So anyway, the hysterical lefties on Twitter think it's Christmas today and they're all clapping their weak, soft hands and pissing into their nappies with excitement over the Sue Gray report. Now, if you don't know what this is all about, I'm about to educate you. <laughs> I hate that term. You know when you have a spat with someone or whatever or some idiot has a go on you on social media and then they come out with, educate yourself. Ugh. Oh. That is like the go-to insult of someone with uh, no wit whatsoever. Anyway, I digress. So, Sue Gray. Sue Gray is a very powerful senior civil servant who works um, in the works within the government. And she has been tasked uh, to do this report on what happened with these parties. Apparently, there were 16 parties held in Downing Street during the height of the lockdown and find out exactly what happened and who's to blame. So, in a statement from the Cabinet Office, it says, The main goal of the Sue Gray report is to establish swiftly a general understanding of the nature of the gatherings, including attendance, the setting and the purpose, with reference to adherence to the guidance in place at the time. And she is going to publish, well, she's already published the report. It has to go through Downing Street lawyers first, um, who are considering which elements of a work will be made public. Because, of course, there is a police investigation underway over a party. Uh, it's a party. Jeez, I mean, does anyone give a shit? Honestly. But the main reason the mainstream media and social media are all uh, really happy about this report coming out and getting really excited is because if the report reveals that Boris Johnson broke ministerial code by attending these gatherings, it's believed it would almost certainly lead to his resignation or at least spark a vote of no confidence. So in a nutshell, when this report comes out today, it could determine what happens to Boris Johnson. Now, because of the nature of Boris Johnson and Parliament, I can't give you a straight prediction, but three things could potentially happen. The Sue Gray report comes back, finds nothing, and Boris Johnson stays where he is. Or it sparks a vote of no confidence uh, in which he survives or he, um, he, he buggers off because they have no confidence in him. Or the Sue Gray report finds that he did break the ministerial code and um, he resigns. So as far as I'm concerned, it's all still up in the air. It's not like it's a surefire thing that Boris Johnson is going to get sacked or resign. But the, uh, the bedwetters, the bottom feeders on the left and on Twitter, they've all convinced himself that it's all over for him. But there you go, that's how they think. It's quite simple, really. 
a simple way of thinking that's usually wrong. What is it with these people and counting their chicks before they've hatched? And as for Boris Johnson leaving, I don't really care, to be honest with you. Like I said in a previous video, he is the best of a bad bunch. There is no alternative and uh, they want him out because basically lockdown restrictions have been lifted today and the left-wing media, the left-wing biased media, um, they're not happy about it. They're, they're really, really angry about the whole thing. They want us all locked down under padlock and key in our own homes. But there we go. That's what I think anyway. Do you think Boris Johnson should stay? Or do you think he should go? And if he should go, who do you think should replace him? Is there anyone else to replace him? Please let me know in the comments. And also, if you like what I do, if you love what I do, if you agree with free speech and you wish to support my channel, then by all means, you can buy me a beer. Because YouTube and Google have demonetized my channel, yet they still put ads on my videos and profit from my work. And I think that's wrong. And if you agree, then um, by all means, buy me a beer. The link is down below. And don't forget, you can join me on Getter. Getter is a bit like Twitter, except that you can say what you want. It's not restrictive. Freedom of speech is practiced on there. And uh, I can be more myself and say what I want. And there's absolutely nothing that the bottom feeding, wet nappied hysterical lefties can do about it. So it's all good fun. Join me on Getter. And that's that. Comment, share, subscribe, share my stuff everywhere. Lefties hate that as well. And until my next video, Roger Trout.